protesters push back against potential layoffs at the U of A as it tries to solve its financial crisis. Job cuts are not off the table as the university tells departments and colleges they need to trim their budgets. But staffers say they shouldn't be paying for mistakes made by leadership. 13 News reporter John Macaluso is live on campus after talking with protesters. And John, what did you hear from them? Well, Val, they are worried about their jobs and they're asking the university to chop from the top, which means cut from administration rather than faculty. Now, more than 100 people showed up to support that message here today. Chop from the top! Chop from the top! We are the folks who make the university run and cut to fix this financial mismanagement need to come from the top. Members of United Campus Workers Arizona are concerned they could lose their jobs after a recent community forum. They announced that they would be implementing 5% and up to 15% budget cuts at all colleges across campus. It was John Arnold, the interim CFO, who said that layoffs are coming. While layoffs would primarily impact faculty, students also protested. We're the ones that are on the ground doing the work here, and we're the ones that are suffering the consequences. It feels as if the faculty and students don't really have a say in what is continuing to be a mounting crisis that the school is facing. The union says they are calling for the resignation of University President Robert Robbins, more separation between the Board of Regents and the university, and a third-party investigation into the university's finances. We need a financial action plan and steps moving forward that will happen in a culture of transparency and honesty and accountability, and that's the last thing we've gotten from anyone since November. Now we may get some more information on that plan over the next few days as the deadline for the university to send a plan to Governor Katie Hobbs is set for Friday. We did reach out to the University of Arizona for a response on this protest, but have not gotten a response. Reporting here at the University of Arizona, John Macaluso, 13 News.